Hello, banana growers. I wanted to give everybody an update. Uh, it's early in the summer, early June, and I wanted to give everybody an update on how these bananas are growing because we've had some pretty good success so far. We've had uh, uh, a good bit of rain. We're under the influence of some tropical weather right now. So we're gonna be getting rain probably uh, the next couple of days, but we've had uh, quite a bit of rain in April, May, and June so far and we're looking forward to having some better banana results as the summer goes along. So come along and take a look and see uh, how everything's doing. So these are our ornamental pink ladies. Again, they're ornamental bananas, but they are beautiful. You see, these are actually the little bananas right here. And that's banana flower. Let's see if we can get a better banana flower. We've got about six of them right now blooming, which is unusual for this time of year. Usually we don't get them blooming until um, July. Let me check out that beauty. Again, these are ornamental bananas. Uh, we just grow them because they are pretty, especially the flowers. Here is, uh, here's one right here that's just starting to, to grow. And check out the flag leaf. Uh, it's got some pink on it as well as the flower does. Pretty good shot of the uh, ornamental pink lady is what I call them. Of course, if you've been following along with us, here at the Simply Bananas uh, Banana Plantation. Uh, we've always had these other ornamentals. They're called Bordelons. Uh, they're beautiful. They've got the burgundy on the back side of the leaf and the dark green on the top side of the leaf. Uh, and they also have beautiful pink little flowers. You can probably see this one right up in there. Again, it's another ornamental banana. We just grow it for the looks. Uh, my wife uses them in floral arrangements. And we also use them sometimes as plates uh, when we're gonna have a little snack or something like that. The Bordelon from supposedly Bordelon, Louisiana is where this strain was first discovered, but we don't really know the origin because uh, all bananas are from Southeast Asia. But let's move on to some fruiting bananas. All right, this is what's called the bell banana. see this is a, a very early bloom uh, in the 2020 growing season we only have what is it, six or seven small bananas on there um, but that's okay they're delicious bananas and we're looking forward to them being ready to eat bell banana well on this one we had to climb the ladder we're on a 10-foot ladder up here looking at the sweet arts you can see it's just a small group again these are early season bananas maybe about 30 of them they have quite a ways to go these are the sweethearts they make delicious bananas as well uh, we're in a little cluster of three plants right here. And there is the bud. I think we're going to uh, eat the flowers from this bud at some point, but we'll probably make a video on that recipe as well. This is a little cluster of three sweetheart bananas growing here. You can see that the three uh, mature plants are within like a two-foot area. And we've got a nice pup growing right there. Again, these are the sweethearts, the fruit we just looked at up above. These, of course, are the sabas. They've been here probably longer than just about any of the blooming bananas that we've seen. And as you can see, 
this Saba has a beautiful, beautiful bloom coming along. Sabas uh, are some of the largest banana plants that you'll come across. It's really hard to get them all in frame here because they are so large. And this looks like it's going to be a pretty good size uh, a bunch right here. Right now it's about 10 or 11 feet off the ground. These bananas are really, really good uh, as patacones, as you've probably seen in some of our other videos. Wanted to mention this other kind of an ornamental plant. This is called a Yunnan giant, although it's not a uh, really a giant banana plant. Uh, it did fruit, uh, and it looks like there are only about four bananas on it, but it's more of a wild variety of bananas, and it'll have a lot of seeds in it. But you can see that it did fruit, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, this hasn't happened very often, maybe once or twice uh, in the last 15 years that I've had these bananas. Pretty cool. And just for scale, I wanted to give you an idea of how tall the Yunnans can actually get. So that's probably close to 10 feet of pseudo stem on this one right there. Pretty nice plants for non-edible uh, varieties. Okay, just below our lovely sweethearts are the Namwas. Check out this cute Namwa right in here look at that guy again it's an early season banana uh, and that just means that you're not going to have the numbers that you would have later on in the year after uh, a full summer of rain and food and stuff like that this is what six six on here uh, again it's probably going to become uh, something like uh, a salad for us a little bit later on but namwa bananas are delicious in fact, they're one of our favorites. And this is the Dwarf Namwa, probably five feet of stem, pseudo stem. So this is our tallest banana plant. This is called the Candrian. Uh, I'm not sure why it's the tallest, but it is. Uh, it's been growing for three or four years and has never produced any fruit. So maybe this is the year uh, and last year, of course, we didn't have very much of a winter and it kept its leaves pretty much year round. Yeah, we dump all of our old uh, vegetable matter out here. Bunch of old carrots we have there. Also, we put shrimp heads on these bananas too. It seems to help them just a little bit. This is the Candarian or Candrian pup right here. Actually, it looks like it may be two pups. Interesting. Two pups huh, growing right together, as you can see right there. But let's take a look and I can show you kind of how tall it actually is. All right, so this is the Candrian, sometimes called the Candarian. Uh, it's 14 feet of pseudo stem or, or stem. Uh, you don't measure the leaves when you're measuring banana plants. And the Candrian, like I said, it's never fruited. Uh, hopefully it will be a good year for that. We're anxious to see what the bananas look like. Uh, it's not a very big pupper either, but as you saw earlier, we did have one baby or pup um, down below. So we're looking forward to seeing what happens with this because it's certainly got enough leaves and it looks like it's gonna do well. Uh, it kind of struggled a little bit because it was in the shade, but once it's gotten above the deck, and the foliage above the deck and the foliage above the pecan tree leaves it's in full sun pretty much all day the candarian or the candrian this is uh an interesting plant this is our smallest banana plant and believe it or not that's just about mature it's uh what's known as a truly tiny or a super dwarf cavendish 
and uh, take a look at the stem height. That's approximately 15 inches. But what's also cool is take a look at this tiny little pup down here. Look at that guy, just sticking up out of the ground. Now, we don't really know what's gonna happen with this plant. Uh, they're supposed to fruit. Uh, this one survived the winter pretty well and it's got enough leaves to support some fruit. So we're gonna be anxious to see what happens here in the next couple of months to see if this plant will give us some fruit. So, with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe and come back and see what happens with the Super Dwarf Cabin Dish.